Good morning, my dear student. I am Dr. Kiran Ramrao Burkar, Assistant Professor, Department of Zoology, RMG College, Sauli. Now today, I am going to discuss about the reproduction in Paramecium. What is reproduction? Reproduction, it means that formation of new life from its pre-existing life or from its parent is called as a reproduction. But before the starting of reproduction, I just explain about the structure of paramecium. This paramecium phylum protozoa ciliata of ciliophora, class ciliophora is often called as a sleeper animicles. Why it is called as a sleeper animicles? Because it look like a sleeper shape. This paramecium uh, or unicellular organism. Unicellular organism, it means that it is made up of by the single cell and usually less than 0.25 mm in length and covered with minute hair-like projection. Covered with minute hair-like projection. Look at this. This hair-like projection is called as a cilia. And what is the function of the cilia? They act as a locomotory organs. Paramecium has large nucleus. Look at this. It has large nucleus and this large nucleus is called as a macronucleus without which it cannot survive. And one to more smaller nuclei and that smaller nuclei is called as a micronucleus and without which it cannot reproduce uh, sexually. Occasionally, uh, reproduction is usually asexual by the transverse binary fusion and occasionally sexual by the conjugation and rarely by endomixis, a process involving total nuclear reorganizations of individuals. Organize, uh, organism. Now we see here how do paramecium reproduce? Paramecium reproduce both sexually and asexually. Sexual reproduction takes place by the conjugation method. Now we see here the stages of conjugation method. This conjugation method is the type of sexual process. It is the unique type of sexual process in which two individuals of the same species mutually exchange their micronuclear material. It occurs usually under unfavorable living conditions such as a starvation, shortage of food, sudden darkness, low temperature etc. Conjugation occur after about 300 asexual generation of binary fusion or it alternate with binary fusion to rejuvenate the dying paramecium. Now we see here the process of conjugation. In conjugation, these two paramecia also refer as a preconjugate of the opposite mating type, unite their oral grooves, they stop feeding and their oral grooves apparatus disappear. The pellicle and ectoplasm at point of contact of both degenerate and a protoplasmic bridge is formed between these two individuals. Now, these two individuals is called as a conjugant. Look at this. These two individuals is called as a conjugant macronucleus. Look at this. Macronucleus, this larger one is called as a macronucleus begin to disintegrate and that is simply break into fragment which are later absorbed into the cytoplasm. The micronucleus, look at this, the smaller one is the micronucleus 
of each conjugand divides by meiosis as a result four haploid look at this this four haploid daughter micronuclei are produced in each conjugand three of this four micronuclei degenerate so that's only one remain the remaining micronucleus of each conjugant divides mitotically into two unequal pronuclei look at this two unequal pronuclei a larger stationary this larger stationary female pronucleus and the smaller but active migratory male pronucleus the migratory male pronucleus of one conjugant cross over the protoplasmic bridge and fuse with the stationary female pronucleus of the other conjugant to form syncarion look at this to form a syncarion in syncarion the diploid number of chromosome is restored as well as exchange of hereditary material takes place the zygote nucleus is termed as amphimixis the conjugant now separate look at this this conjugant now separate this one is the another and another means the this one separate and uh, called as a x conjugant this this one is the one x conjugant and this one is the another x conjugant the uh, further the syncarion of each x conjugant divides mitotically three times and form a eight micronuclei in each conjugant look at this eight micronuclei in each conjugant in each conjugant four of eight micronuclei enlarge their size and becomes macronuclei and three of other four nuclei micronuclei disappear and the remaining micronucleus divides at the same time what happens x conjugant divides by binary fusion into the two cell into the two cell now each cell has macro two macronuclear and one micronuclear again cell and micronuclei divide second time and form a four and form a four daughter individuals at the end of conjugation so look at this this four paramecium form at the end of the conjugation from the one x conjugant okay all this is about the sexual reproductions by conjugations then what is the significance of conjugation the vitality is stored hereditary material or character or exchange between the two paramecium uh, that is main significance of conjugation is that the rejuvenation what is rejuvenation paramecium losses its vigor or strength if binary fusion is continue repeatedly for several generation animal shows depressed condition because of this individual reduce in size degenerate and eventually die off thus conjugation is essential to rejuvenate and regain the lost vigor of individuals now we see the another type of reproduction that is the autogamy what is autogamy it takes place in single individuals the micronucleus divides into two and fuses to form syncarion or zygote then the paramecium start to divide to produce daughter paramecium then another type of reproduction is that the hemimixis what is hemimixis what happens in this hemimixis in this method fragmentation and division of macronucleus takes place without any activity of micronucleus then another one is the cytogamy 
It takes place in two individuals. In this process, micronucleus divides three times. To produce eight nuclei in which six degenerate and remaining two fuse together to give zygote. All this is about the sexual reproductions and nuclear reorganization. Now, we see here the asexual reproductions. In asexual reproduction, it involves only a single parent. It takes place by the binary fusion. This transverse binary fusion is the most common method of reproduction in paramecium. Paramecium undergoes binary fusion during the favorable condition. A full grown paramecium divide into two daughter individuals. Look at this two daughter individuals. But before the beginning of fusion, paramecium stop feeding and its oral groove and buccal structure begins to disappear. The micronucleus increase, look at this, this micronucleus increase in size and start dividing mitotically. The nuclear membrane remain intact by last stage of mitosis. Micronucleus becomes elongated, look at this, this micronucleus becomes elongated and its two end becomes organized into daughter micro nuclei. Simultaneously, the macronucleus divides, this macronucleus divides amitotically, randomly distributing its chromosome between the two newly formed macronuclei. Two oral grooves now begin to form, one in anterior half and another in posterior half. There is development of two minute pore near the middle part of the body as future contractile vacuoles of the daughter paramecia to original contractile vacuole remain in each half of dividing parents individuals. A transverse cytoplasmic furrows, look at here, this transverse cytoplasmic furrows, constriction furrow form, which deepen gradually dividing into two equal daughter paramecium. Of this two daughter paramecium, the anterior one is called as a proter and posterior one is called as a opistae. Paramecium caudatum divides two to three times in day by binary fusion. The process is complicated, completed in, not a complicated, the process is completed in about clone, all the members of clone are genetically identical. These are the clones and these clones are identical. All this is about the asexual a reproduction in paramecium by the transverse binary fusion. Thank you so much.